Welcome, Namaste and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. In this video, the question we are going to answer is, can I use saliva as lube or can we use saliva as lube? Now, most of you know, couples who are you know, basically trying for a child use lubricants. You know, up to 40% of couples you know, actually use lubricants when they are trying for a child. And what basically happens is the reason they are using these lubricants is primarily because they have vaginal dryness or they are having some difficulty with penetration or the man's erection is not enough. Whatever be the cause, lubricants are extensively used. But lubricants, you know, especially saliva as a lubricant, has detrimental effects. So can I use saliva as lube? The answer is no. Please do not use saliva as lube. In fact, there was a beautiful study published in the year 1980s. You know, as early as the 1980s, which said that saliva reduces sperm motility you know, by 50% as early as 5 minutes after exposure of the sperm to saliva. So yes, within, fi within 5 minutes of exposure of the sperm to saliva, the sperm motility is down by 50% and by the 15th minute, the sperm motility is almost down to zero. This is because saliva contains certain substances which can drastically inhibit and you know kind of impair the sperm motility. So if you are trying for a child, please do not use saliva because there, are, there, are, there have been a lot of studies, I mean a couple of studies at least, that have, that have you know actually looked at the uh, impact of saliva on the sperm motility parameters under a light microscope. So what they did was in these studies, they, they took saliva and they you know added it to a prepared sperm sample and looked under the microscope to see to what extent saliva affects or impairs sperm motility. In these studies what they found was that sperm motility reduced by 50% in 5 minutes and almost by 100% by the end of the 15th minute. So if you are having sexual intercourse, uh, you have used saliva liberally on your organ or penis or the vaginal region. Once this, once you ejaculate after 5 or 6 minutes and the sperm comes in contact with the saliva, definitely there is going to be an impairment in sperm motility. That is one reason why you should not use saliva in sperm motility. That is in context of fertility, right? Now, what do you do? What, 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 what you, why you should avoid using saliva again is because saliva also transmits certain, you know, sexually transmitted diseases. For example, herpes, right? which is basically HSV, herpes simplex virus, HSV spreads via saliva. So say you're not trying for a child and you're in a stable relationship, but you have had past relationships, you have not undergone an STD test or you know you have not screened for STDs and say you are herpes positive and then you, you know, kind of, you know, use saliva liberally as a lubricant. What basically happens is there's a risk of transmitting herpetic infections or herpes simplex viral infections to your partner, to your new partner. And that's not really a good thing. You don't want that, right? You don't want your partner to end up with genital ulcers or lesions after a, after a night of sexual intercourse. Never, you don't never want to do that to your loved ones. So, in general, if you're using saliva as a lubricant, stop right now. Avoid using saliva as a lubricant. I hope you found this video informative. Please share this with, you know, your close friends. And, you know, and if you, and please share it around. And please like, comment and subscribe on the videos. Ask, please ask your questions down below. I, you know, I actively respond. To all the comments that you put below in this video, please do ask your questions and I'll see you back soon with another video. This is Dr. Shah signing off for now.